Hi guys, so I'm back and we are going to be concentrating on how to um, chop and prepare our carrots um, but also on our knife skills for chopping carrots. Now carrots is, um, are a hard vegetable so sometimes they need a little bit more effort to slice and to chop. <clears throat> One of my pet hates um, and obviously guys remember I'm concentrating on keeping your fingers safe and that is my primary concern. Um, and it drives me insane when um, people start chopping and they chop off the tip and then they turn it around, they flip it around and they chop off the leaf side as well. Now, the leaf side is very important, just like the onion, okay? That is your little hold for your to keep your fingers safe. You're going to throw that piece away anyway, so why not have it serve two functions? Um, and that is to keep your fingers safe. Um, and also to keep your carrot or your vegetable together like in the onion. So you're going to get rid of the tip and have your bowl ready and you are going to simply peel your carrots all the way around. Now one of my little tips um, for beginners is to make sure that you always have a flat surface to chop on because when the vegetable rolls it makes it unsafe for your fingers so just take your peeler and on one side of the carrot just peel an extra one or two lines you can use that carrot so just pop that into your bowl of the carrots that you're going to keep but now you have a flatter edge on one side so that when you put your carrot down it doesn't um, roll quite as easily. Right guys, so in this video we are going to be using this worksheet which is also on knife skills but it's concentrating on the different cuts. So round, batten and cube. You are going to place uh, at each type when you've cut it, you're going to place each type on your worksheet so that you can take a picture of it afterwards. Now we're going to um, start with the carrot and please remember you're not taking off the leaf end because that's going to be your little safety for your fingers. Now there are various ways in which you can cut your carrots. So I've got rid of the tip of my carrot and now I'm going to do rounds which is your easiest way of slicing a vegetable. You can do this with any long vegetable so cucumbers, parsnips, um, carrots, anything that's shaped in this way. So remember to hold your knife properly and you are going to again do a sliding motion to cut your carrots. Now I rest the point of my blade um, on my board and I lift my knife and then I use my fingers as my guide. So my knuckles as my guide. Now remember guys if your fingers are behind the blade you can't cut them. So please make sure that you're using claw grip. You're going to use your knuckles as a guide as to how big you want your slices and you're going to keep your fingers behind your blade, especially your thumb because that's the one that most people forget about. So they tend to do that uh, and then that's when you cut your finger. So please make sure that you keep your fingers behind your blade and you are going to do a sliding motion, moving these fingers back just a little bit at a time to give you that movement. Right, always down. Right, and then you're going to place some of those carrots onto your worksheet to show that you know what round is. Now the next cut that we're going to do is we're going to cube or dice. And the way in which I do this is I always try and get my vegetable into flat sections so that it makes it easier to dice. Again, we are not going to take off the leaf side of the vegetable. We are simply going to place our knife where we want our cut. Again, with a hard vegetable, if it's easier, pop the knife, the tip of the knife against the board, hold your vegetable and then when you push down, push down with a lot of control holding your knife correctly. Right, so I've made one cut. I'm then going to make a second cut. Depends on how big your carrots are guys. If your carrot, you've got smaller carrots, you may only have to divide them up into, into half. So now we have a flat edge 
on every slice of carrot that we have, which is going to make it much easier to chop because when we put them down, they're not going to move. The middle section of the carrot is actually the easiest to dice. Um, and also remember, I have not removed the leaf section of the carrot. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide how big or small I want my carrots. Um, if I want a big dice, then I'll probably only divide it up in half. If I want smaller dices, um, then I'm going to divide the carrot into three. So I'm going to show you how I do that. And again, to uh, keep the carrot together, I actually don't chop it all the way through. I just slice through. I'm going to do big dice today. Right, and that keeps my carrot together. I'm going to pinch it together and remember I'm going to use claw grip and I'm going to keep my fingers behind the blade. And I'm going to use a sliding motion trying to keep my carrots an even size. Now that becomes important when you are trying to make sure that your vegetables cook at the same time because you want all your carrots to be ready at the same time you don't want some really big pieces and some small pieces because they're not going to cook evenly some of them are going to take longer if they are bigger so you have a nice even cube there and that's going to go onto your worksheet right and the last cut that we are going to do with our carrots today is we are going to do battens like carrot sticks guys um, and when I see people buying carrot sticks in, in stores um, I just want to tell them it is so easy to make your own and much cheaper. So when you have a carrot, you're going to cut it in exactly the same way. This is a big carrot, guys, so I'm going to probably cut this one in four. Right, and then be careful on the last one because it has a tendency to fall over. Right, now guys, um, vegetables are um, a natural product and if you do get bad bits in your vegetable, the rest of it is absolutely fine. So we're just not going to use that little section at the top. But I'm going to show you how to do battens now. So get a nice section of your carrot um, so that you can make your battens. Remember guys, very important to keep your board clear. Don't stack things on the side of your board, uh, especially your chopped bits, because you try and avoid them all the time when you're cutting and that can stop you from concentrating on what you're actually doing. So please make sure that your board is nice and clean at all times. Have a little bowl ready for all the things that you've chopped so that you can transfer it from your bowl, from your board to your bowl as you go. Now, with the case of battens, this is the only time that I will cut off this section. Um, and I'll show you why now. Okay, so we're going to cut that off and remember we've got a little bit that we don't like so we're just going to get rid of that piece and I'm going to cut off the very end. Right, so now we want to make battens. Now this one is not important because our fingers aren't going to be in the way so we are then going to slice it down however wide we want our battens to be and can you see I'm using my hand to push down on the tip of the knife just to give me some extra leverage. I then have some nice straight sticks that I can cut into battens. You can then also cube it if you want to, um, but if you want battens, I'd probably go for half and make long ones out of these. And there you have it. I mean, how easy is that? You can then also pop your battens together and you can dice them like this, keeping them together using these two fingers and then just slicing them down, trying to keep them an even size. Alright guys, so I've done all my vegetables and I've got all my different examples on my worksheet. I have my round, I have battens and then I have cubes. So the last thing that you are going to do is you're going to answer the questions on the bottom of the worksheet and you are going to tell me whether you have followed those rules. Followed all your knife safety rules. Have you used the bridge hold, the claw grip or the bowl for newspaper or newspaper for peelings and discards? Right guys, I'll be back for uh, when we are doing our carrot soup. So I've got my onions and my diced carrots ready for my carrot soup.
vegetable, I mean, carrot soup practical.